The median salary for a fully qualified actuary is over $100,000, but the average American only makes $32,000. That is over $62,000 in difference. So why do actuaries get paid so much? I'm Bria, an associate of the Society of Actuaries and leader of over 400 aspiring actuaries in the Actuary Accelerator community. Now this answer can really be broken down into two specific reasons. Reason number one is because, well, they asked for a six-figure salary from a genie in a bottle and so they were given one. Just kidding, it's not really that easy. Here's the real reason. Let's look at this from the top down. So right now there are about 371,334,016 people living in Canada and the U.S. combined. Yes, I got those statistics specifically as of August 23rd, 2021. So there are a lot of people living in Canada and the U.S. Now based on my experience I've found that about one-third of people tend to to know what I'm talking about when I say that I'm an actuary. So based on that, I'm going to estimate that about 33% of people know what an actuary is. That leaves us with 123,778,005 people that actually even know what the actuarial career is. Now, of those people, even fewer want to actually pursue the career. Now, let's just say that about 0.5% of those people that actually know about the career want to actually pursue it. And by the way, I just made this number completely up. I have no idea if it's actually true or not, but it will serve the purpose of this story. So if 0.5% of people that know about the career actually want to become an actuary, that leaves us with 618,890 people that actually want to pursue the career. Only a percentage of those people will actually pursue the career. So let's say that about 30% of those people that want to become an actuary actually do pursue the career and try it. That leaves us with 185,667 people. Do you see where I'm going with this? So of those, even fewer actually become fully qualified. And I have no idea what percent of people actually start their actuarial career but don't actually become fully qualified actuaries. But as an approximation, I'm just gonna say 15% just for the purposes of this video. So if 15% of people actually become fully qualified, that means we're left with about 27,850 people that are fully qualified actuaries. So we started with 371 million and we end with only 27,000 people. And interesting fact, right now the Casualty Actuarial Society and the Society of Actuaries, which are the two main actuarial societies in Canada and the US, they have about 26,000 members that are fully qualified actuaries right now. Now, not all of them work in Canada or the US, but the majority of them probably do. So I think this estimate of 27,000 is fairly accurate, I would say. So the point here is that it's actually really difficult to get to this stage where you're fully qualified. You first have to pass exam P, which has only a 50% pass rate. And by the way, if you are someone that wants to become an actuary and you need to take exam P, make sure you check out our exam P warrior group right down below in the description. I'm going to put a link to where you can find out all about it. It starts next week and we will help you step by step figure out how to prepare and pass exam P. So make sure you check that out. But after you pass exam P, there are nine other actuarial exams that you would have to pass in order to become fully qualified. And some of those exams only have a 30% pass rate. These exams are difficult. They require someone to be really great at math. They need someone that's going to be able to keep pushing forward even when they fail because surprise, surprise, failing is not uncommon. And they need someone that actually has a desire to study and to learn this actuarial stuff. And this is just something that not many people are willing to do. So to sum up reason number one, really it comes down to supply and demand. There are just not many people that are willing to go through all of the steps that it takes to become a fully qualified actuary. So because so few people are willing to do that, that naturally increases the salary that they're going to get paid. So now you might be wondering, why don't they just make it easier to become an actuary? If we make it easier, more people will become an actuary and then salaries would naturally decrease. Well, that leads me right into reason number two, that actuaries get paid so much. Actuaries are responsible for making decisions that affect billions of people. Even you, right now, you are being affected by actuaries, even though you may not know it. Their decisions affect things like government programs, insurance policies, warranties, pensions, investments, and so much more. Without the skills, knowledge, experience, and intuition that actuaries have, the economy would crumble. And because of that, regulators often require credentialed actuaries to 
to sign off on their work and the work of their team just to give their actuarial stamp of approval. Just think, here in Ontario, Canada, where I live, we get free health care for the most part that is provided by our province. Now, of course, we pay for that health care through our taxes, but the thing is that whenever we have a medical emergency or we need some sort of medical procedure, those types of things, they're paid for usually by our province. Now, there are tons and tons of people out there relying on these health care payments to be made for them. So if one day the government just tells us as Ontario citizens that they don't have enough money to fund the health care system anymore, then that's going to leave tons and tons of people with a huge financial burden that they're not going to be able to necessarily pay for. Or think about a government program that pays an old age benefit to citizens over 65. Now these citizens are probably going to be relying on that money later in life. And if the government just decides that they don't have enough money to fund that program anymore, then there are going to be tons and tons of people that retire at 65 and then don't have access to the money that they expected. These programs all come down to work that actuaries have done. So their decisions are really being relied upon by citizens and consumers all over the world, even though many people don't even know what an actuary is. So the process to become an actuary is rightfully difficult. It needs to be in order for citizens and consumers to be able to rely on actuaries and trust in the programs that they are involved in. The skills, knowledge, experience, and intuition that actuaries gain by going through the exam process and through their work experience is something that cannot be replaced and there's no other way to learn it. So this process absolutely cannot be made any easier. So. Actuaries make so much, not because a genie in a bottle granted them a six-figure salary, but because one, there just aren't many of them. There's a low supply of fully qualified actuaries. And two, because they just have extremely specialized skills, knowledge, and experience that the general population doesn't have. So let me know down in the comments, do you think this is fair? Do you think it's fair that actuaries make so much? Do you think that based on this information, they should actually make more or maybe less? Or maybe you think that right now actuaries are being paid fairly. Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. And then after that, if you want to know more about what I made in my actuarial positions, make sure you go check out this video right here that explains year by year what I made while I was going through my own actuarial journey. That is all for today. See you next week. Bye for now.